I'm in Venice. Woo! Welcome to the Venice vlogs. I'm so excited to be vlogging holiday again. I feel like holiday vlogs are just the best and I haven't done them in such a long time, obviously. And I've been watching everyone else's recently. And I finally get to do my own little I get to my own little holiday vlog so i'm currently in venice so if you guys didn't watch my last vlog which was my weekly vlog with my like my birthday and stuff my boyfriend bought i was gonna say bought venice <laughs> If you didn't watch those vlogs, my boyfriend, um, as my birthday present, bought a few nights in Venice. So we're here for three nights. I'm so excited to vlog it and share it with you all. So basically today, we woke up so early. Our flight was really early. So we left the house at 2.45. The airport was so busy. Like we was not expecting it to be that busy. So we was actually having a bit of a panic, um, thinking we were going to be late. Um, we got here, left our bags here because we was here quite early. We got here about 11. And we've just been walking about, um, it's now five o'clock and we've been in the room for about an hour or so now. Harrison's been sleeping, so I was just doing like a little bit of makeup while he slept. And then I, like, I was waiting to start the vlog, but he was sleeping. Um, but I've literally been walking around. I, I was wearing um, I was wearing my tracksuit, so I've got my black sweatshirt there and my jogging bottoms. And then I had a crop top underneath. I've literally been walking around in jogging, bo jogging bottoms um, all day. I'm a little bit sweaty, so we're going to get ready for dinner now and also show you the room as well it's a little bit messed up now because we've been in here like i said a couple hours harrison's been sleeping but with venice i think harrison said like a lot of the hotels are like very i think you said 70s like very like old fashioned but this one i think is really cool like it's really funky like there's kind of like carpet material all over the door so it's all like very gold and wooden again there's the door into the bathroom um i've unpacked all of our clothes in there this is the bed in we have like this gold throw thing but the bedding is white which i'm grateful for um because i just don't like to sleep on pattern bedding when i'm in like a hotel so yeah, i've just unpacked all of our stuff like i said i've done a little bit of makeup i didn't feel like doing proper makeup so i've just done like bronzer um blush that sort of stuff and then through here it's very dark in here but we've got like a little mini kitchen with the fridge and bits and bobs like that and then that leads to nowhere and then this is the bathroom which is really cute and like clean and modern what was this place called again uh, <coughs> i can't remember I'll link it down below if you're interested because I feel like it's got the character of Venice but it's not too like old. Does that make sense? The only issue with this room is there's not a full length mirror so I can't properly show you my outfit but I'm wearing this little crop top from Zara. No, yep, Zara. Little um, maxi or midi skirt also from Zara. I'm wearing my new Birkenstocks that I showed in my last vlog and then I've just got like a load of gold. Jewelry on. This is our little view, just some little Venice building. Oh, the river's there. Yeah. I didn't realise. It's our little view. So we've booked obviously an Italian tonight and a really, really fancy seafood pasta. So we're going to have a walk and then a drink and get some seafood pasta. And I'm so excited. <laughs> well, that's a bubble ring. <laughs> We've gone for Bongoli tonight. Harrison's got the extra large beer, red wine. It's really cute here. The little lights there. Stairs. Feels very Italian. We just had the nicest bongole ever. And a glass of red wine. I think everyone's left, so I'm not sure what this is about this restaurant, but. I thought it was delicious, but we're gonna go get a dessert somewhere else because we've literally been eaten alive by gnats and it's driving me crazy. Um, so we're gonna try and find somewhere else for our fancy tour and soon. And you wanna kind of cut off these gnats. Oh. Okay, he's leaving me. Okay. Back. Good morning everyone. I thought I'd make a little bit of effort with my makeup today because I was like, holiday, let's make some makeup um, effort. Look what I did with my mascara on my eye. It got caught in a hair, then like whipped across my face. Great start. I don't know how I'm going to save this. Like it's literally a line. So today we've got a boat to the Rame. Um, and it's like Balamori, all the different coloured houses. It's so cute. We did just try and sit down for like a drink. 
but I think they're just taking maybe just food. I really fancy Aperol, but it's all coloured houses like Balamori. Didn't you say this is what they base Balamori off of? Well, it's nice. The idea of drunk people, drunk fishermen, because there's a fisherman, so I used to paint their houses different colours. So yeah. when they come back, they could recognise their house. Chocolate. And so, just on the boat back. So we came back to the room because it was just getting so hot and sweaty. Like I was just getting really hot. Today we went and got the boat to Baranai which is like all the coloured um, houses and stuff that you saw earlier. And we stayed at this restaurant, which is actually supposed to be quite famous. So Harrison had booked it. Um, and then we wasn't going to end up going. We were going to go tomorrow. Like just thought we'd be quite casual because everywhere is busy, but not like we haven't needed to book anywhere sort of thing. Everywhere was like not taking anyone in who hadn't reserved. So thank God we'd reserved it because it was so busy. So we sat down. We had, um, I think the restaurant was called La Romano in Barone, Barone. Verano, Verano, La Romano in Verano. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, we had apparently this risotto is like famous, so we had this risotto. James Martin, James Martin said apparently this, I don't know, something. And then when we ordered it, they said that it was famous, so I'll insert a picture of the risotto here. It was really nice. Um, we had like this fried fish selection to start, which I personally needed some sauce. It was a bit dry for me, but I was too embarrassed to ask for like mayo. Because I feel like they're going to mug you off for asking mayo. I'm just airing out my clothes. So I want to re-wear this blouse. But I literally sweated so much today that I'm just trying to like air out my clothes. Um, and now we are... Oh, why is that not going on the hanger? I'm going to go for a walk and I fancy some ice cream. Because... <sighs> no, that, that was how it came when the girl sold it to me. And it's been washed, it just won't come out. I'm going to get some ice cream because I haven't had ice cream yet. And I really fancy it. So it just changed into a little... Bando from I want to pop you somewhere in it with this balance. Okay, hopefully you can kind of see, but I don't think you can see. But Bando is from ASOS, and then these are the low waist shoes that from HM and then my axle trainers. And yeah, we're gonna go get some ice cream. And tonight we're having pizza because we've had pasta, we've had risotto, and now I really want some pizza. Oh, we had we got these. Um, I don't think I showed you these, but we got these Nutella. Biscuits. Been having some of them because they are delicious. So I'm thinking Aperol spritz, a pizza, and ice cream. Sounds good to me. This is our little entryway. It's very cute. Little cute pick on that. So if we get free water in here, I like this book wallpaper. I like I'd quite like that. Having a drink in this bar. I've got a Hendrix cooler. Harrison's drink actually tastes of pepperami. It wasn't a good choice. We're just sitting by this little bar. Very pretty. Come to the room to cool down. Actually, well, actually, the, the toilet, to be honest with you. Lovely view. I'm not gonna lie. It smells a little bit of shit, but that's alright. It's the ambiance. Look how pretty this is. Oh. Hello. We have just been drinking, like I think I showed you guys, we've been drinking on a little canal with the gondolas going past. Um, I had a Hendrix, I had quite a few, not quite a few, I had two, <laughs> quite a few. I had um, Hendrix coolers, which was basically a mojito, wasn't it, but with gin instead of, mm -hmm. what's usually in a mojito, vodka? Rum. Perfect, because I don't like rum. So I had a Hendrix cooler, a couple of them, they were so nice, and now we're going to find some pizza and I got an ice cream, I didn't even vlog it, I got an ice cream finally, I got a mint choc chip ice cream, it was unreal. Um, yeah, now we're gonna go find somewhere to have with pizza, I kind of want somewhere with like a nice, I liked that restaurant, you know when we was walking past, like not the front we were just at, but the other front, hmm? I think it's the front where the church is and there's the front, you know, we'll, so we'll pass that really nice restaurant, <laughs> but did you say the pizza looked horrible online? No, there's one place where Rick Stein ate where it didn't look great, but... Oh. Yeah, pizza time! Sherry! Now off to dinner! 
Just looking for a little pizza on the sea seafront. It is the seafront, but it doesn't sound Seven right calling it the seafront because I feel like we're at Brighton. But this is the seafront, I guess. Just looking for a little pizza. Capi looks in the video though. <laughs> Finally have a pizza. Look bum. Best pizza I've ever eaten in my whole child life. It's our very best pizza. We went to Rome. And even that pizza was as nice as it. Yeah. Oh my god. He asked if I was mm. famous. I want to be famous. He might have been asking me if I was famous. No, he said that I have a famous face. Well, you didn't say I had a famous face. Yeah, but for, for me to be with someone as beautiful as you, well, we've got to be famous and I've got to be rich. <laughs> Good night. I was going to finish off the vlog just a second ago, but we, I just remembered the whole dinner we was eating our pizza, we was watching these and met this American friends. We were sitting opposite this like American, I don't know, they were like friends. And we could not stop watching them. Like, they were having, like, I find their accents fascinating. Like, obviously, we're so used to it on telly, but it's so weird hearing American accents in real life. Um, and they were just having the most depressing conversations, weren't they? Like, there's this one yeah. woman, and she was like talking about her friend who, like, had breast <laughs> cancer, but, like, what was she saying? No, she was like, it's like a percentage like, thing. Like, the like, percentage she, she had of, the like, percentage of always having breast cancer, but if she, like, worked out more, she would have lowered her percentage. Yeah, it was like, like, obviously, like, there's, like, a percentage of, like, you know, if she'd worked out more, like, there's, like, a percentage, and she, like, and then, literally, I heard the word breast cancer, like, 50 times over my pizza, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, they were in the middle of Venice, they were having this really odd conversation of, like, saying that this person had like more percentage of getting ill because she didn't work out and didn't eat whatever like it was honestly the weirdest conversation <laughs> ever and we spent the whole day didn't we just literally mm. we were just staring at them just watching them it was, it was enjoyable it yeah. was really enjoyable and like their accents i don't know where they would have been from like their american accent but the men, the, it was the some and the husbands were just in silence it was just these two the women, women like talking back. about like the, the percentage i had to tell you about this this American family that we were just watching the whole entire time of our dinner because they were just fascinating and it was just really odd. Yeah. Good night. We're just watching Gladiator right now. Well, by watching, I mean I'm going to go to sleep, but there's Gladiator on. Good morning. We're just off to the Basilica. Is that right? Um, we're just off to the Basilica. We booked it because the queue just to not if you don't have a ticket was so long so we ended up booking it for today instead i'm wearing the same all white outfit but with the trousers because um you have to have your shoulders covered in the basilica i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit smelly because i was a bit sweaty yesterday but i think we'll probably come back afterwards and i'll put the shirt back because i think it's too hot <laughs> Need to cover up your shoulders when you go inside though, but this is the outside. And Harrison was showing me how the pavement slopes in with the drains because obviously they flood a lot. I just said, how amazing would this be to have like a wedding reception or something here? Like it feels like Beauty and the Beast. Just come back to the room to cool down for a sec. So like, it's like sweaty today like you know when it's kind of sticky and humid um so outside it's quite busy so today we went to the basilica we had pizza for lunch and it was shite like we've literally seen we had the rub most rubbish pizza i feel like it was like a frozen it tasted like a frozen pizza that you what shove in the oven pizza? yeah it wasn't good so that was a bit of a foul but i had a vanilla milkshake which was quite nice um but now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go to a couple of shops. I want to go into Sephora and get myself a birthday present. And I think we're gonna go on a gondola about maybe four o'clock when it's just. Hopefully, it's just cooled down a little bit because it is quite, quite hot right now. So yeah, we're just taking five minutes to have a breather and refresh because I was literally like a sweaty, drowned mess. And now we're gonna head back out. And it's only, it's only twenty past twelve, and I feel like we've done so much, don't you? Yeah. Stop 
for an Aperol on the seafront. And we're just about to get in a tattoo, didn't we? What? We're just about to get in a tattoo. We did, yeah. And we walked past the tattoo parlour and, like, and we kept walking back and forth, like too embarrassed talking, but then we Googled it and it's closed anyway. We were going to get uh, a tattoo for memories, but it wasn't meant to be. Some mixed seafood, her got it as well, and then we also wanted to try this gnocchi with clams. That nuts on it. Mm. I had it when they put nuts on it, it still looks good though. It's quite a lot of food. The lovely view. The sun's actually gone in now, but. We're back with some ice cream. So we went to this place where every time we walked past, there was a big queue. I don't know if it's like a famous ice cream place or something, but it was all in Italian, so I don't actually know what I picked, but it's like this thick chocolate coffee and like caramel ice cream, oh God. Worth it. So good. It wasn't too bad when we went, but every time we walked past it, and it's like, it started to rain. We didn't realize it was supposed to rain tonight, so it started to rain. We were gonna go sit on the seafront, weren't we, and have some pasta, but I think we're gonna have to eat inside now. Mm. And the gondola was so special. The only thing is, I feel like it was very short, don't you? It was short, yeah. Like, I feel like it was a lot of money and I'm sure we was on it for like 15 minutes. Mm. Yeah. I went to Sephora earlier. I tried to buy something with my birthday money, just nothing major. So I went in and picked up the Tarte Shape Text. I thought, let's get something that I can't actually get at home because I feel like then it feels more worth it. So I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape. It was really hard to guess the colours. I think the colour that I should have been was out of stock. Like, literally the three colours that I felt like I could have been was all out of stock. So, I picked up light medium. It might be a little bit too dark, but I don't think we can get this in the UK anyway. I think maybe you can get it on QVC. I don't really know, but I thought I'd pick it up. So, I was like, right, that's fine. £25, you know, just a little birthday treat. Get to the till, and this woman in front was literally taking ages. I don't know what she was doing. We were standing there for about five minutes behind her. And then you know all the bits at the side, like when you're queuing, they kind of reeled me in a little bit. So I actually ended up buying more than I anticipated. So I got the, I know you can get this in the UK, but it's the Brazilian bum bum, like little mini set. Cause I actually wanted this spray. Cause my friend Emily said it's like the perfect holiday scent, like spray all over you. So I really wanted to try it. So it comes with a little spray, a little mini bum bum cream, and then also a little mini, shower cream gel and i looked this up online i'm pretty sure it's like 25 to 28 pounds at home and i got it for 20 pounds in sephora so i was like do you know what i'm just gonna pick it up because i feel like i've been wanting to pick it up anyway for holidays and if i can get it a little bit cheaper and also get it in sephora i mean why not and also this bag will come in handy but yeah it's the brazilian crush scent and literally does just smell like a holiday it's really nice i mean on it it says pistachio and salted caramel which does not intrigue me but it actually does smell really nice so i got that little set and then i also picked up which again i know you can get this in the uk but i picked up it was just all the little mini stuff when you were queuing up that just drew like i literally could have bought more but I, and this was 66 pound altogether which i don't think is too bad for what i got i got this little milk makeup set again i thought this bag would come so in handy it's actually really nice so this comes with um i pretty much got it oh my god it's tiny i pretty much got it for this primer which is <laughs> skill this is the milk hydro grip primer which i've been wanting to try which i know i think you can get it on cult beauty but i thought i would try it. it's a little mini one this was 30 pounds this was a little bit pricier it comes with a little mini like cheek and lip stain uh, it comes with a little mini mascara and then also this which is the grip set and refresh spray which I'm gonna where's that that's separated it's quite a powerful spray jeez I mean this honestly probably shouldn't have got it it was a little bit pricey it was 30 pounds and you don't get too much but i just really liked the bag i wanted this little mini primer to try so do you know what i bought it but it's fine it's done now 
and it's with my birthday money like i'm i honestly always feel guilty when i spend money like oh my god this is so heavy i feel really guilty like i was saying earlier to harrison like i was just sitting there almost in silence gonna get really nervous after spending money i don't know why it was my birthday money so that's what i picked up and then she also gave me this little freebie thing which i don't actually know what's inside i don't know whether she was like working on commission but she kept trying to sell me these little things at the side and i kept on saying no no thank you no thank you no thank you so i didn't want the like mini soap or the mini gel hand gel like a little oh okay so we've got a little mini something clinique i'm not sure what that is another one little mini giorgio armani luminous silk foundation 5.5 which honestly, I feel like 5.5 would probably be my colour. Because it's like a fake tan. A little mini Dior eye cream. Oh. And a little mini Dior micellar water. Oh, and then a little mini Dior Sauvage. Harrison, should we spray some Sauvage? Sauvage on you? Mm -hmm. I've had it for years to be fair. I literally used to love this. So yeah, that comes like a little preview. That's what I picked up from Sephora. So I went to pick, I still haven't eaten my pop chips. These are really nice. We got these in WH Smith, the little like Oreo bite. Really yummy. We're going to, we're going to dinner now. I've got this little white tank top on from Zara, which I need to actually cut the label out of. I'm wearing my low-waisted jeans again. And I'm just going to put on some trainers, but I am super bloated. We've had so much food. We actually ordered three main courses for us at lunch just because we wanted to try the stuff but yeah a bit bloated but it's fine just found the cutest bar basically there was no one indoors but it looked really cool let's just go inside and ask and he was like oh we have a garden how nice is this this is called cool, if anyone is coming to venice the was the oriental bar yeah we have a really nice garden it's quite pricey but just for like one drink i think it's nice Goodbye. We just had a really rubbish pasta as our last dinner. A little bit good, I'm not gonna lie. I literally felt like saying to them, You broke my last time. It just didn't taste of anything. I'm literally so, so today sweaty. We've had a microwave pizza. We had a rubbish pa a pizza for lunch and a really rubbish pasta. We've just made bad choices for the restaurants. So I've really got a mixed chocolate chip ice cream to try and cheer me up. But I don't know, we might maybe go to the room for like. 10 minutes then maybe go out and try and have another pasta <laughs> even though i'm stuffed i just feel like i want to rectify it because right, we picked a carbonara and a seafood pasta it won't good my nerve it won't good it just it, it, honestly all i can explain that is that it literally tastes anything like the carbonara just taste of pasta just taste of boiled pasta with maybe an egg in it obviously i know it's not something you made a picky child yeah, like obviously no carbonara has egg in it, but it was not the vibe, let me tell you that. The key out. But the mint chocolate chip is kind of making me feel better. Is it you? I don't mint just saying goodbye to our room we're all packed up i will i can't remember the name of this place <clears throat> got a sore throat but i will link it down below because it was like the perfect location it's really cute just like really basically in the middle is it in the middle would you say? Oh. It's kind of like in the middle of everything. It's in the perfect place. It's right by the outside. Yeah, it's like in the perfect location. But I'm in my tracksuit again. I feel like I'm going to be a bit hot. But it's actually supposed to be thunderstorming here from today onwards. So we were so lucky because we had like the most amazing weather. And now literally we're going home. And it's thunderstorming a week. So, yeah, I'm very sad. Oh, golly, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the Venice vlog. I literally loved Venice so much. Like I feel like it's one of my favourite places that I've ever been. I just had the best time. I'm so sad to be home, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. In terms of like recommendations, I thought I'll just say a quick few things because I feel like we did go to a couple of restaurants that weren't 
great, which I did mention. But things that I'd recommend, I'd definitely recommend going to the Basilica. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but the Basilica. Um, we originally was going to go on the Saturday and got there at like 10 a.m. I feel like, quarter to 10. And the queue was so long and it was barely moving. I don't know whether that's because it was a Saturday, but I'd recommend booking it in advance. Then we then booked it for the Sunday at like 9 30 i think we put the tickets for it was 25 euros each and we just went straight in and i really recommend that it was so interesting like everything was just so beautiful and like going over the bridge of size and seeing the old prison and stuff like it was just really interesting so i definitely recommend doing that if you're going to go to venice also right by our um, apartment like where we stay which again i'll link down below there was a coffee shop i can't remember the exact name but i'll link it i'll put the text on screen on it or put it in the description box they did really good coffee and like really nice croissants i had like an Nutella croissant and then during the day they did a pizza we didn't actually get the pizza but they did look really good and um, when we looked online that coffee shop was like really highly recommended so i will put that down below as well as so the coffee shop um I'm trying to think what else really Oh, and then Le Romano, I think it's called, in Burano, which I can never, I can't get that out right, but I think it's Le Romano in Burano. It was a really nice restaurant. It was a little bit pricey, so that's what we got at the risotto, which is supposed to be famous, but it was a really nice experience. So I'll put that down below as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll also try and link like some of my outfits that I wore down below in case you're interested. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had the best time. Like I'm just, yeah, so, so sad to be home, but... It was so much fun. I'd definitely be going back because it's just my, one of my favourite places I've ever been. And um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. And I will see you in my next one.